हेलो एवरीवन हैप्पी दिवाली एंड नमस्कार नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट सुक्रानी धनपत हु इज अ साउथ एशियन लियाजन फॉर द कम्युनिटी अफेयर्स फॉर द न्यूयॉर्क सिटी मेयर्स ऑफिस सुक्रानी धनपत नमस्ते हैप्पी दिवाली थैंक यू टू आवर डेप्यूटी कमिश्नर दिलीप चौहान फॉर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग इंट्रोड्यूस मी आई हैव द ग्रेट ऑनर टू इंट्रोड्यूस टू यू द इनक्रेडिबल वुमन द फर्स्ट इंडियन वुमन टू बी इलेक्टेड एंड ऑल्सो द फर्स्ट हिंदू वुमन टू बी इलेक्टेड शी led the fight to get diwali as a school holiday and for the first time diwali is going to be celebrated all our children grandchildren neighbors everyone can be around home to celebrate diwali with us isn't that spectacular so i want to call up on stage the incredible the incredible as i say the assembly woman jennifer rajkumar let's give our hands to her happy diwali new york city all the punjabis in the house i want to hear from the gujaratis how about the telugus and now any proud indo caribbeans here guyanese allow me to reintroduce myself i am state assemblywoman jennifer rajkumar we made history when i became the first indian woman ever elected to new york state office and i became the first hindu ever elected to new york state office and i am a proud hindu but most of all i am a proud american and here we all are today in the mayor's house the people's house of our great mayor mayor eric adams celebrating diwali the great holiday the festival of lights but i have to tell you nobody thought that i'd be standing on this stage today When I first ran for this office, people told me, "Hey, Raj Kumari, you're a nice girl, but you got no shot." But we won. And we won by the largest margin of any challenger in the state. Because nothing can stop a determined Indian woman, am I right? Yes. And we continue to make history. You elected me and then I led and won the fight to make Diwali a school holiday. in New York City schools. This year for the first time, all New York City schools are going to close on Diwali. And the whole city will stop and observe and say to over 600,000 Hindu, Sikhs, Buddhists and Jains, our government sees you and our government hears you and we recognize you. Are you excited about that? Yeah. Then I want to hear you do the iconic chant. When I say Diwali, you say Holiday. Diwali. Holiday. Diwali. Holiday. Diwali. Holiday. Diwali. Holiday. And that is the famous chant that you did that launched a movement. And here we are today. And now I have the great pleasure of introducing our one and only mayor, the great mayor Eric Adams. He is so close. with our hindu community that they actually call him the hindu mayor and when i went to him and said mayor we need to make diwali a school holiday he said yes yes we will and yes we must because anything is possible and your community is possible so let's let me hear it for our great mayor eric adams Let's make some noise for our Hindu mayor. And when 
There was a hate crime at our beloved Tulsi Mandir. Mayor Adams stood with us, and he made sure the NYPD classified it as an anti-Hindu hate crime because he is always standing up for our community. Are you happy about that? When I think of our mayor, he is someone that enjoys his job, loves his job, more than anyone loves his job. He reminds me of Arjuna from the Mahabharat. My dad used to tell me, there were five pond of brothers, and they were all asked to shoot a bird. You know this story. But only Arjuna could shoot the bird. And when they asked Arjuna, how did you do it? He said, I saw only the eye of the bird. And my dad always told me, focus on the eye. Well, Mayor Eric Adams is someone who focuses on the eye from morning to night. He focuses on making lives better here in the city of New York. But on this occasion of Diwali, he also reminds us of Ram. Ram, who had to wage an incredible battle to defeat evil. Ram had to put everything in to achieve victory. And on this Diwali, what do we celebrate? We celebrate Ram's victory when he returns victorious to Ayodhya. Our mayor is the Ram of New York City as he works to battle homelessness, as he works to battle crime, as he works to uplift New Yorkers every day. But ladies and gentlemen, Ram cannot defeat Ravan alone. Ram needs Hanuman. Ram needs the army of monkeys and bears. So on this day, let us all pledge to be the mayor's Hanuman. Will you make that pledge with me today? He has always stood with our community. And that is why on this Diwali, the Festival of Lights, we will always stand with him. So please give a warm welcome to the 110th Mayor of New York City, Eric Adams. Yo, wow, look at you, look at you on this uh, Diwali uh, celebration. Uh, each year we will continue to do it, and our assemblywoman is right. She personifies what it is to come to this amazing country, participate in government, not only for the entire state, but specifically for the community that supported and encourage her to run. When she had the vision of making sure that Diwali was a recognized holiday, they told her it was not possible. We lobbied, we fought, and as she stated, there's nothing more determined than an Indian woman, and she showed that, and today we celebrate Diwali as a citywide holiday and it's something that we should all acknowledge. But more than that, what we have done with Delete and others, and how it took 110 mayors before we were able to have an Indian woman to be a deputy mayor and deputy mayor Mira Joshi. You are continuing to see your political strength you're continuing to see what you are capable of doing. This is one of the most well-educated communities, business leaders. What you did during COVID with your doctors and medical professionals like other immigrant groups, you kept this city going. And that is why I want to make sure that you no longer live in the shadows of the American dream that you empower yourself to be self-determinant on what the future holds for this entire city and not this if not the entire country. And don't lose sight that running for president is a woman with Indian and African-American background. You are moving at a rate that no one thought was imag imaginable. So you could never go back. You could never 
find yourself back into the shadows of the American dream. You must continue your progress. And as you grace us today here on Gracie Mansion, we owe you as much as you owe this great country, we owe each other. Let's continue to grow. Let's continue to strengthen ourselves. And I say, as Diwali is the light that moves out darkness, let's displace the hate and the darkness that is pervasive across the globe. It starts here in New York. It starts here on Diwali. It starts here with this great community. I love this community. Keep doing the great things you're doing. Thank you very much. Always, it's very difficult to follow Mayor Eric Adams. Happy Diwali, and thank you all of you for coming to celebrate Diwali at your house. Mayor house is your house. Remember that. How many of you are first time in the Gracie Mansion? That's what the task mayor asked me. Dilip, make sure everyone has access to the Gracie Mansion and the City Hall. And that's what we are doing. And that result, you all are here. I feel so honored to stand before all of you as a Deputy Commissioner for the New York City Mayor's Office for International Affairs especially on this auspicious occasion of Diwali, which holds solid significance for our vibrant South Asian American community. Diwali is a celebration of peace, togetherness, diversity, and teaches us how to help each other. Diwali is a Hindu festival. Hello? Hello? Diwali is a Hindu festival, also known as a Dipavali in Sanskrit. Dipavali means row of lights. It symbolizes the spiritual victory of light over darkness and knowledge over ignorance, good over bad. Once again, also one more thing I want you to acknowledge. First time in the history of New York City, New York City Mayor Eric Adams has a raised flag for so many countries Including, including India, Guyana, Caribbean. So that's what the Mayor Eric Adams, he has opened up the door for entire community. Without further ado, I would like all of you to please clap for yourself. Because of you, Diwali is declared as a holiday in the New York City School. Of course, SMU member Jennifer Rajkumar and the Mayor. Now, I would like to invite Brahmacharini Shubani Chaitanya to lead the opening prayer followed by the lighting ceremony. Brahmacharini Subhani Chaitanya. Ayom. Let's all pause for a moment in silence as we chant the Deepavali prayer. Let's all pause for a moment in silence to acknowledge the true meaning of Deepavali. Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya Brityorma Amritam Gamaya From untruth, where we think one thing, say something else, and do something else, lead us to truth, where our thoughts words and our deeds align all together. From darkness, where sometimes we have negative thoughts, negative behavior, negative habits, lead us to light where we only see positivity, not only in ourselves, but in those around us. From death, 
where we are dead to our potential and we forget what we are capable of, lead us to immortality, lead us to know that when we stand together, we are infinite, unlimited, and with the grace of God, anything is possible. This is the real meaning of Dipavali, and this is why we light the lamp. Harion. Now is the big moment. Time to honor the individual who have made great success against unbeatable odds and help the community at large in growing. Let me first call Acharya Leela Gosai. She is a spiritual leader of Bhuneshwar Mandir. Hello. One second. Just, just be quiet. Just be quiet for a second. Shh, 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 shh. A very happy Dipavali to all of us. What Dipavali means for us is the lighting of lights. One week from today, next Thursday, we will be lighting millions of little lights around the world. And while the physical act of lighting a light is important, we should also kindle the light inside of us. That light represents an inherent goodness, which is peace and love. Darkness represents our negative tendencies. So when we light that light, we should be reminded that we should kindle that light of love and brotherhood. Namaste. I'd like to especially thank our esteemed mayor for hosting this spectacular event. Let's give him a big round of applause. And, of course, to the organizers and to all of you for your beautiful presence here this evening. Adio. Thank you, Acharya. Now, I would like to call Sarina Jain, is the founder of Masala Bhangra, a unique fitness program that blends traditional Indian dance with modern fitness techniques, offering an energy and cultural workout experience. Sarina Jain. Namaste, friends and family in Jajanin. I'm quite emotional at the moment. I would love it if you all can be quiet. It takes a lot of guts to get up here, please. I'm excited to be here tonight. Thank you to Mr. Mayor for this entire recognition, as well as to the New York City Office of International Affairs. It's an honor to be here. I am deeply grateful to be recognized
for my work with Masala Bhangra, a program that blends Indian culture with fitness to bring people together for a healthy lifestyle. What began as a personal journey 25 years ago has turned into a global movement thanks to the support of my family as well as my New York City community and my students around the world. I'm excited to continue sharing the joy and passion of fitness, dance, culture, and a healthy way of living to even more fit people. Here's to 25 more years of Masala Bhangra. Thank you so much for this milestone and recognition. Happy Diwali. Thank you, Sarina. We all need to eat food, right? Roni Mazumdar is a Michelin star, restauranter, unapologetic foods, and is the creative force behind renowned New York City restaurants like Damaka, Sima, and Rodi Roaster, spanning nine unique concepts across three boroughs. Ronnie's creative style has made him well known and highly praised in New York's lively, lively dining scene. I would like to invite Roni Mazumdar. Congratulations, Roni. Thank you. Good evening. All right, I know we can be loud. Guys, I'm actually going to say the exact opposite thing. Can we be the loudest we've ever been this evening? Thank you. Yes, now that sounds like New York. All right. For the <clears throat> guys, it, it's, uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Dilip, the entire administration. It means the world for a 12-year-old boy who moved here in 1996 to stand in front of you and accept this citation from the mayor. For that boy, going out to a restaurant was a very big deal. Red Lobster was a luxury. Today, I believe sincerely the only reason why we exist, Sema, Dhamaka, the company named Unapologetic Foods, it exists is because of New York and individuals like yourself who have supported us every single day. I understand I'm the one receiving the citation, but the person who really deserves to be here is not really me, it's my father, he's there. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Please, let's share some samosas tonight. Let's all dance. Thank you. Now, I would like to introduce Vijay Ramjatan Karmacharya. He's an interfaith Hindu spiritual leader, community wellness builder, advocate, and activist. Vijay is the president of the Community Education Council for District 28, and a leader who advocates for the equity, access, and inclusion for all of the New York City residents regardless of race, orientation, or faith, and focuses on community engagement to end gun violence and food insecurity. Vijay Ramjatan Karmacharya. Om Shakti and Namaste to all of you. Happy Diwali 2024. My name is Karmacharya Vijay Ramjatin. And I'm so happy to be here in the people's house to stand with a mayor who is by the people and for the people. My dear friends, Diwali is a reminder of our connectedness, our shared values, and our commitment to being each other's keeper. Diwali also reminds us that together we are stronger. Together we can outshine any darkness. And my dear friends, lastly, in the spirit of Diwali, together we are brighter. I want to thank our Honorable Mayor, who's a man of his word, a man who stands for equity, inclusion, and access. In 2019, my dear friends, 
I'll ask the mayor to please come up front here, please. In 2019, when he was borough president, this is the mayor right here, signing a petition to make Diwali a school holiday. Yes, yes, put your hands together. Before, my dear friends, he was mayor, and I always say, don't wait till you are elected to do the work. Do the work before you get to the office. And my dear friends, he did that. And for the first time, my daughter, who is right there in gray, she had a sign that says, I am Lakshmi, and I deserve a holiday as well. And for the first time, for the first time, my little daughter, Layla, right here, will have this Thursday off of school, and we want to thank our mayor for his work and all that he did to make this possible. Mr. Mayor, here is him signing this petition right there. Also, my dear friends, on that day, his team, Dilip, let's pose for a picture of Mr. Mayor. Not okay. Dilip Chuahan right, was there, right next to him, making sure that this mayor is present in all avenues and all aspects. Lastly, my dear friends, to Sukrani Danpat, we are very proud of you, and we thank you for all that you do. Happy Diwali. Thank you. Now, this program is concluded. But again, happy Diwali to everyone. One sec. Again, happy Diwali and Mayor. Community wanted, wants to have selfie with you. So please stand here so you can take from here. What am I doing? Just selfie. Where is our cameraman? I will take a picture. Please enjoy the food and the music. Again, happy Diwali and see you next year.